Hello, welcome to Geometry Chapter 10, Assignment Number 1, where our learning target is, I will be able to identify parts of a circle. As you go through this video or any of the other assigned geometry videos, your goal is to be an active participant, so we have a few suggestions to help you. First, take out a piece of paper and be prepared to take some notes as you watch the video. For this video, go ahead and draw a circle on your paper and label the parts as you learn each of the new vocab words. At any time you are able to pause, rewind, or replay any parts of the video as needed. And if it's helpful for you, you can turn on closed captioning, which is found at the bottom right of your screen. In this video, you will learn 10 different vocabulary words. It's, you do not need to write these down right now, but I will read them off. Central angle, chord, circumference, diameter, major arc, minor arc, radius, secant, semicircle, and tangent. You will notice that some of these uh, vocabulary words you're familiar with, and some of them may be new to you. So let's get started. All right, so on my screen I have drawn a circle. I have marked the center, so if you haven't done that already, make sure that you draw a circle on your paper with the center. I also have a blue segment that goes from the center out to the edge of the circle, and I am going to take that blue segment, which is anchored at the center, and I am going to move it all the way around the edge of the circle and trace the outline and that outline is actually called the circumference and I've got the circumference marked in yellow on my diagram. The circumference is the distance all the way around the circle and I'm starting with the circumference definition because the other definitions that we will get from here on out will re reference circumference. So I'm going to delete this segment and now I have a um, in my diagram I have a radius which is blue in my diagram and it goes from the center to the circumference and it is a line segment. So it has two endpoints one endpoint at the center, one endpoint on the circumference. Another line segment in a circle is called the diameter. And in my diagram, my diameter is red. And a diameter passes through the center and it has both endpoints on the circumference. So I have an endpoint on the circumference on this side the diameter then goes, travels through the center and ends on the other side um, of the circumference. So those are two um, line segments that you probably already knew the definition of. Another line segment in a circle is called a chord. Let me find the word, there it is. And a chord is a line segment that has both endpoints on the circumference. But notice this chord that I have drawn, which is purple in my diagram, does not go through the center. So any chord would have two endpoints on the circumference. A diameter is just a special kind of chord that actually goes through the center. So a diameter is also a chord going through the center of the circle. So those are three line segments. We will also learn two lines that go through a circle. And this first line that I have is called a secant. And the secant that I have in my diagram is like a lavender color. And a secant, again, is a line, so it has two arrows and it intersects the circumference of the circle at two different points. 
So my secant touches the circumference here and touches the circumference here, but it starts from the outside of the circle and it has two arrows, one on each end. So that is one type of line in a circle. The other type of line is called a tangent. And in my diagram, the tangent is green, and that is a line that touches only one point on the circumference. So it just kind of skims across and just touches the circle at one point, and that is called a tangent. So here on the next slide, I have all of the vocabulary words that we just discussed, as well as their definitions listed on this screen. So if you would like to pause the video here, you could copy these down if you didn't get them from the last slide. Um, while you are paused, I will continue by just reading the definitions in the order that I gave them for people who would like to continue the video and write these down as I say the definitions. So you can pause it here or you can continue listening as I ramble on. So <laughs> the, first de uh, the first vocab word that we talked about was circumference and that was yellow in my circle. Circumference is the distance all the way around the circle once. Then we looked at the blue radius and the radius is a line segment that has one endpoint at the center and the other on the circumference. The third vocabulary word that we talked about was the diameter, which is red in my diagram. And a diameter is also a line segment and it passes through the center and has both endpoints on the circumference. The third line segment that we talked about was a chord, and that was purple in my diagram. A chord is a line segment that has both endpoints on the circumference. And then we had two lines. The first line that we looked at was called a secant, and that is lavender in my diagram. And a secant is a line that intersects the circumference at two points. So it starts on the outside and it cuts through the circle, touching the circumference in two different spots. And the final vocabulary word was our second line on our circle and that was called a tangent. And a tangent is a line that touches only one point on the circumference, so it just skims across. And that was green in my diagram. So I'll give you another few seconds to wrap this up and come back if you have not paused the video. All right, we have four vocabulary words left. On my paper, I have drawn a circle. I have a diameter drawn with endpoints A and C and going through the center D of my circle. I also have a radius drawn which goes from D, the center of the circle, out to B, which is on the circumference. We are going to talk about central angle. Central angle is an angle with a vertex at the center of the circle, so we would name that using three letters and the angle symbol. The angle symbol C, D, B. So I start at the circumference C, that point C on the circumference, to the center D going back out to the circumference B. That is a central angle and again listed with three letters and the angle symbol. We then have three types of arcs and an arc is a part of the circumference. The first is a minor arc which I have drawn in blue and that is an arc whose measure is less than halfway around the circle so it's less than 180 degrees. I would need to name that with two letters, and here I have it drawn from point C to point B on the circumference, and so I've labeled this arc CB with a little arc symbol on top, which looks like an upside down smiley face. It also is perfectly fine to label that BC. 
Another type of arc is a major arc, and that I have drawn in green, starting at point C, going the longer way around the circle, back to point B. And a major arc is an arc whose measure is more than halfway around the circle, so it's more than 180 degrees and less than 360. And we would need to name a major arc with three letters, starting at point C, I need to go through point A and ending at point B, and again it has that upside down arc, upside down smiley face, so that is major arc CAB, listed with three letters. And the final arc is a semicircle, which is exactly halfway around the circle, and that I have drawn in red, and that I have started at point A on the circumference, going through point B, ending at point C. So that is, the semicircle is named arc A, B, C. So you can pause it here, or let's go to the next slide, where I have all of these that we will quickly look over again. Central angle, which was in green, an angle with a vertex at the center. We named it with three letters. Our minor arc was an arc with less than 180 degrees. That was in blue. I named it with two letters with the arc symbol, so that was arc CB. Feel free to pause at any time here. The major arc was in green, and that was an arc with measure more than 180 degrees and less than 360. We named that with three letters, so we named that arc CAB with the arc symbol. And finally, we have the semicircle, which was in red, and that was an arc whose measure is equal to 180 degrees. We also need to use the arc symbol with three letters, so that was named arc ABC. So feel free to go and pause the video at any time, look these over on this chart that I have here. Finally, uh, once you've listened to this video, you will need to go complete assignment number one by following the link in Schoology for the Kahoot practice. I also suggest that you can quiz yourself on these 10 circle vocabulary words by looking at the word bank on the next page that I will put up and label a blank circle to see if you've mastered the learning target for chapter 10 assignment 1 which was I will be able to identify parts of a circle. So here's the word bank. You can draw this on your paper, draw a circle and try to draw a radius, try to draw and label a diameter, try to draw a central angle, etc. So again, if you have any questions, go back to the beginning and rewatch the video and pause, replay any of the parts that you need. Thank you for watching. Bye.